Now, Arlene's heading to West Lothian to discover the explosion in production of the drink some call Scotland's second spirit. The best barley in Scotland is used in the production of whisky, a global industry with over 130 distilleries. But now there's another spirit following in its footsteps, but don't think barley, think sugar. Sugar cane to start with, the raw ingredient of rum. There is a long tradition of the drink in Scotland, but we've been known for blending and bottling rather than distilling. Since 2015, though, there's been a growing number of craft distillers producing the spirit. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Paul, Jason. Yes. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. What a sensational smell. One of the newest is run by husband and wife team Paul and Jason Rutasiqua. It uh, smells like treacle, doesn't it? It does. Uh, Why rum? I'll let you answer that, I think. Well, we've, we've <laughs> always been into rum. My family is from Jamaica, um, so quite well acquainted with the spirit. So we decided to make a rum that was linked to the region. Well, I would really love to see how you produce rum, if that's OK. Just come along with me. Thank you very much. After you. Born in Uganda, Paul was a civil engineer but came to Scotland to follow his passion, studying brewing and distilling in Edinburgh. So what you're looking at here is our copper stills. We have four copper stills. Armed with his degree, he set up his dream business. All rum has to be made from uh, derivatives of sugarcane. We use sugarcane molasses. It's rich and it's got lots of the essence of the sugarcane crop left in it. And I have some here if you'd like to taste. Oh, okay. Let's have a go. So this is the, the sweet smell. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Molasses is a grade of treacle. It's sweet, it's got licorice kind of flavors. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Essentially, it'll be three ingredients going into a fermentation tank. We have our molasses, water, Scottish water, and yeast, and that's it. After a seven-day fermentation, the sugarcane wine that's produced is distilled twice to create the spirit. And this in front of me is the 50% proof white rum. White rum, yes. But it's not finished. Like whiskey and gin, there are a multitude of potential variations and styles. Jason is using native ingredients to give their rum a Scottish flavour. Raspberry, very country, and some Scottish heather. <laughs> quite novel still for spice rum to feature heather. And our honey is sourced locally down at the borders, so very local approach to um, sourcing to give it a sense of place, and it really complements our rum. Paul and Jason were selling their rum at farmers markets only two years ago. Today, you can find their product on supermarket shelves across Scotland. So we really champion pairing rum with food. Our spiced rum is a must to have with chocolate. Absolutely loves oh, chocolate. Wow. Oh, it smells incredible. How's that? Oh, it's worse, isn't it? That is sensational. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is good. I could stay here for a while. You're very You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> With Scotland's strong distilling heritage and the recent boom in craft gins, it's really great to see another spirit being made locally too. And I, for one, will be enjoying and closely following the exciting emergence of these rums made in Scotland. <laughs>